What's going on guys? Welcome guys, welcome back. welcome back to Grave Uncut Reviews. Today's episode, we've got a remake. Not just any remake, but a childhood remake that will most likely piss a lot of people off if they actually watched it. I'm talking about the live action remake of The Lion. What can I say about this movie? Other than, no matter what the hell I say this, at this point, there is no freaking spoilers, because if you haven't seen the animated version of The Lion King, the live action isn't going to matter at this point, because the movie's been out for decades. Not the live action, the animated version. But, the live action version, I have a very mixed feeling toward it. Because if you compare it to the animated version versus the live action, it seems like no matter what any any movie company does, whether it be Disney, whether it be any of them, if you're taking an animated movie and bringing it to live action, not all animated movies need a live action remake or adaptation or whatever. The prime example in this case is the Dragon Ball Evolution movie. That's like an, the prime example. Just like the animated version of The Lion King, you did not necessarily need a live action version of The Lion King. Don't get me wrong, it kept up with the story and if you don't realize that Mufasa dies and Scar kills him, you're living under a fucking rock. I will say the live action version to a point was decent. They left out a lot of shit. And in all seriousness, it just felt like they were plugging Beyonce's album. Because all you heard in that, again, like they, don't get me wrong, the voice actors did great, but it was just too fucking much, and then the, the cut fucking songs that everybody knows from the the animated version, which makes no human sense, because they were, a lot of those songs from the animated version were staples for the movie. One in particular uh, is the song "Be Prepared." It was like one of the one of the songs that Scar was a part of in the animated version. That was completely cut. That was completely cut from the live-action version. For the life of me, I have no fucking idea. Maybe it was to cut time, but the only thing is this movie was longer than the animated version. It was longer by maybe, I want to say maybe 15, 20 minutes. I may be wrong. Because I wasn't necessarily keeping track of the time, but comparing the two, the live-action is longer. And There's one scene that honestly took longer than it needed to. And the best way I could describe this scene, it was literally a piece of Simba's hair floating for a solid, I don't know, fucking five minutes. It was like a five minute clip of just a piece of hair flowing in the fucking wind, getting eaten by a giraffe, and then all of a sudden, like another two minutes of that five, two out of, two of the five minutes is literally a beetle fucking pushing around a ball of shit that's got the hair in it. There was no need for that. Like, I, I get it that it was kind of there for the comedic value, but... Why? Why did you... Why, why, Disney, why the fuck did you have us watch a solid five minutes of hair flowing in the wind and then getting pushed while it was infused in a fucking shit ball? Honest to God, like again, like I, th for the most part, it was fairly solid. Although the animals like showed little to no emotion. The mo the emotion was just all in the voice actors. But like I guess like the way they animated the uh, the animals, the live action animals, it didn't. There was no emotion. Like when Scar when. Uh, Scar killed Mufasa, no emotion. When Scar killed Mufasa, there was no emotion. When Simba came back, there was no emotion. When uh, Nala found Simba after he freaking left, no emotion. When Simba's mother found out about the death, no emotion. Like, what the fuck? It's like... 
you hear somebody dies, like you're gonna you're gonna feel something. This there was like no feeling whatsoever. For the most part, story wise, it kept up. Aside from a few missed scenes, a few missed songs, and for f whatever fuck all reason, there was like a huge part that was cut out uh, from the animated version that wasn't included into the live action, which was the scene with uh, Rafiki and Simba. And a lot of people watching this are going to probably know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. But it was completely gone. It wasn't even in the live action version. Honest to God, they made Rafiki look like a fucking... It was just a jump point to like, it's like, alright, Rafiki's here, five seconds. That's it. There's like no background given. In the animated version, they gave you the background. In the live action, it's just like, yeah, here's a freaking baboon with a stick. Oh yeah, he raised fucking Simba on fucking Pride Rock. That was it. He had like one small scene talking to Simba where Simba's like, Oh, my dad's not here. And like, no, 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 your dad's waiting for you. Looks in the water, sees the reflection. Here's the freaking, here's uh, Mufasa telling him what, needs, what he needs to say. That's literally all you get out of Rafiki. After that, nothing. Maybe a small part, a small part in the fight scene at the end. That's it. Let me, now that I got all that ranting out of the way and gave you guys my general synopsis of what I saw to put into closing and give you guys the grading, this remake, I'm gonna say right now, six out of ten. Actually, scratch that, five out of ten, because it was good. But you cut out a lot of big points, you added scenes that weren't necessary. The biggest gripe I have out of this movie was the five minutes of watching hair blowing in the wind. I'd rather spend five minutes watching paint dry or five minutes watching grass grow than watching a fucking waft of hair floating in the air getting, getting eaten by a giraffe and then shat out. And as far as the cut songs, like, what was the purpose of cutting those songs? Like, there's no reason those songs should have been cut. As far as the scenes, there was no reason for those scenes to be cut. Like, if you're gonna do a remake, do a remake. Don't fucking do a fucking clusterfuck of, alright, here's the beginning scene, we're gonna skip this a little bit. We're gonna jump into this and then fucking shitball. If you're gonna stick to a script, stick to a script. I understand, as far as in the movie industry, you're strapped for time, but take the time to actually put out the product that you're supposed to be putting out. Not fucking five minutes of shitball. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the movie in the description, in the uh, comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video.